Hello my friends, welcome to today's video on Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. In today's video, I wanted to show you an alternative to the Posca pencil resist technique that I've seen in many of the alcohol ink groups. I know that um, I saw a lot of people were having issues trying to find the pencils, didn't want to buy an entire package of different colored pencils. So I found another alternative. Some of you may already know this. I use this sometimes with watercolor. So I thought I'd give it a try and see if it works with alcohol ink. So I have a couple of greens here. I'm just keeping it simple. I'm using willow, citrus, and meadow. I have some photo paper. This is the matte side, not the glossy side. I have a piece of candle wax. So I had an old candle, I broke a piece off of it, and I am going to draw a very simple leaf with the wax on my paper, and I'm going to use a good amount of pressure. So again, I'm keeping it really simple, and if you hold it in the light, you can see the outline that you're putting down. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna keep mine very simple for this demonstration. You can probably also use a crayon. Okay, so now you can see you have a lot of the um, wax on the paper. So just use a brush and clean that off your paper. And again, if you hold it in the light, you can see the outline that you've put down. So now very carefully, I am going to take my colors and I'm going to try to deposit them within the space that I've put down the green. And I was using before, I was using, um, the, you know those little bottles that I always use with the um, alcohol already mixed in and they were flowing a lot, a lot nicer. So let me go back to that and see because putting down the inks like this makes it a little bit more difficult. Give me a second. Okay, so here I have my little bottles that have alcohol and ink in them. So let's try this and see if this works better. I think this needs a little bit more green. It's very, too much alcohol, not enough ink. So I'm just going to throw in a good squeeze of green in there. I'm gonna shake it up. And then again, carefully put it in there. And you can see that the wax also creates a resist keeping your ink where you place it. So if you don't want to try the Posca pencil, which really works nicely, you can always give this a try. Again, you can even use a pencil, a, a, rather a crayon. And a crayon would probably work even better because it's got a point to your tip, whereas the wax of the candle gets kind of thick. So you can see that my lines are kind of thick, but you can also see that the ink is staying exactly where I put it. Over here where I was using the ink straight out of the bottle, it didn't move around as nicely. So I'm just putting down some dots and filling in the area in between the lines that I put down with the candle. You can even use the tip of your bottle to move the inks around a little if you need to.
and there you go. Another alternative to using the Posca pencil. You can use a piece of wax from a candle or try using a crayon. I do recommend, or at least in, I just tried this for the first time to see if it worked, but um, I found that mixing the ink with the alcohol makes it flow easier. Using it straight out of the bottle didn't work for me. I suppose you could put the ink down from the bottle and then use a little bit of alcohol to move it around a little bit, but this seemed to work, work best for me. So um, I hope that you give this a try. Let me know if you already knew about this. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and consider joining our Facebook group, Vivo Vintage Design Tutorials, where you can post your version of the paintings and techniques learned on this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.